Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 all-time favorite makeup products from Pat McGrath. Today, Pat McGrath started her Black Friday sale, which is yesterday for you, and she is doing the best sale she's ever done. Pat McGrath does do sales quite often, which I always recommend you shopping. And usually the most she's ever done for a sale is a 30% off discount. This year though, for Black Friday, she came out with a bang and we can get up to 40% off Pat McGrath. And I am so excited. Pat McGrath is my all time favorite makeup brand. I love her eyeshadow palettes above all others in my collection and 40% off is an amazing price to get them at. In today's video though, we're not just going to be talking about eyeshadow palettes, I'm going to share with you my top 10 must-have makeup products from Pat McGrath now because I love the line so much, I already foresee me adding in a couple extra little things but i do have a top 10 but then i have a few other suggestions too at the end anyways i'm super excited for today's video i have the access link to the pat mcgrath black friday sale down in the description box of this video when you shop my links you help my channel so please shop the sale using the links i'm leaving you in the description box and let's just go ahead and get started with today's video i obviously have as many pat mcgrath products on my face as i could fit <laughs> I combine palettes, I have a lot of my favorite products on and I simply cannot wait to share them with you. Again, I cannot believe it. she's doing 40% off. I regret buying everything I've bought up until right now and I wanna buy it at 40% off instead. <laughs> For my top 10 products, I'm not going to go in any particular order, but I do think I'm going to leave the palettes for last. So let me just start with foundation. The Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation is, at this point, I feel like we all know my number one favorite foundation. I am obsessed with this foundation. I have dozens and dozens of foundations in my drawer and I have gone through two bottles of this foundation in particular because it is the one that I always want to reach for, the one I always want to go for, the one that I keep coming back for and it simply makes my face look so good. I have dry skin for reference, but I have heard that this doesn't only work for dry skin like mine, it also works really good for normal and combination skin. This is a medium coverage foundation, probably the most liquidy foundation I own, maybe not, but one of the most liquidy foundations I own for sure. And what I love about it is that it doesn't look like thick cakey makeup on the skin, it blends right in and it looks like this just layer of perfect skin on top of your skin, if you will. I can show you up close with this foundation on, my skin still looks very much like skin, but it is perfected, it has a beautiful glow to it, it looks very natural, I simply love it. I use my Pat McGrath foundation in the shade LM9. I was actually struggling to get some out of here today when I started filming this video, so I think I myself will take advantage of the sale and get myself another Pat McGrath foundation bottle because now that I can get it with a discount, I think it's the perfect time to restock on it. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to run out of this particular bottle very soon. For me to say I've used up two full bottles of this foundation and I don't tire of it, I don't get rid of it, nothing else has come out that I like as much. I feel sass a lot about this product if I ever have an event, if I ever leave my house, this foundation is 100% of the time coming with me. I will say I have heard people who have oily skin say that it doesn't last as long on them, so if you have oily skin, I'm sorry, but this might not be the foundation for you. However, if you have normal to dry skin like I do, it will be your new favorite, I promise you that. Another complexion product from Pat McGrath that I have loved and continue to love for years is the under eye setting powder. I've always used mine in translucent shade. There are 
different colors out there that you can get but the translucent one seems to work perfect for me this powder is perfection for setting your concealer with it is very very lightweight a little bit goes a very long way so beware of how you're using it make sure you're using a very soft fluffy brush and make sure that you're not applying a lot of product this is not a powder to bake with, none of that. A very light layer of this one underneath the eye will set your concealer in place. Your concealer will not move, it will not crease, and it's a very, very thin powder, so it'll look very seamless underneath the eyes. It doesn't make anything look cakey. It looks extremely, extremely natural. This is, of course, what I'm wearing on top of my concealer today. And you can see nothing's moved, nothing's creased. It just kind of makes your concealer stay in the perfect position. So I absolutely love this little one and I highly recommend. I think this is something else that I totally need to restock on. Um, since I was talking about the concealer, I feel like in past favorite Pat McGrath videos, I've spoken very, very highly about the Pat McGrath concealer. And while it's still a really good concealer, I loved it a lot more when it first came out than I do now. I feel like they must have changed something in the formula. I went through a full tube of one and I loved it. And when I repurchased it last time, it just has not been the same. So even though I do like the Pat McGrath concealer still, because it's a bit more drying on me, is no longer part of like my top Pat McGrath products to recommend. One last complexion product I have as part of my top 10 is the Pat McGrath blushes. I love the Pat McGrath blush formula and I also love the amazing shade range that she has for her blushes. I have my top two favorite colors right here to share with you, but she has so many different blush shades. So these right here are the one I'm wearing, which is Flirtatious. It is one of my favorite ones. This is, I believe, one of her matte finish blushes, and I love it because it gives me kind of that perfect level of blushiness. It has a hint of rose in it, but it doesn't look overly blushy. It is one of the most natural looking blushes that I own and my favorite. And then I also really love Nude Venus right here. I believe Nude Venus is the ones that have a little bit more shimmer in them, but it, there's barely a difference to be honest. And my favorite thing about Nude Venus is that it's a perfect peachy pinky color. It's not too pink, it's not too peach. It's kind of this perfect neutral shade. Nude Venus is a blush that you can buy and it will literally go with every single makeup look you do. It is the safest option because if you wear something warm, it'll match it. If you wear something cool tone, it'll match it as well. It is perfection in a blush right here and I love it. One more thing I need to mention is that the Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana Holiday Collection that she just launched like a month, maybe a month and a half ago, is included in this sale which is incredible. So her Celestial Nirvana palette, the Quince, all of that you can get now with up to a 40% off discount. Like I said, unheard of. I am so excited about this sale. I cannot believe how good it is. Okay, so the blush was my last complexion product. Let's jump to some lip products. And Pat McGrath has some amazing lip products. I love her lipsticks. I love her lip liners. And I love her glosses. I will say the most unique as far as formula is concerned for me is the glosses. They're doesn't exist another gloss like the Pat McGrath glosses. I am obsessed with this formula. It is a long-lasting gloss. She has an amazing shade range in them. They look super juicy on the lips and the most fantastic thing of all is that they are not sticky. A long-lasting gloss that has a perfect color payoff, a perfect amount of shine, and it's not sticky. It is fantastic for me, what she's been able to do with this gloss formula. And I have a few of my favorite ones to share with you. The one that I'm wearing today is her Gloss in Flesh Fantasy, which is one of my favorite colors. It's kind of like a mid-tone, rosy brown type of a shade. As you can see, very, very juicy. I also love her aphrodisiac one, which is a lighter shade, a bit more rosy. And if you want this very light, baby pink type of a gloss, 
Um, Prima Donna is a fantastic, fantastic color to get. If you're into like light baby pink lips, Prima Donna is the gloss for you. There is one more that I always wear and I'm trying to find it because I don't know the name of the top of my head. Here it is, the Pat McGrath gloss in Sunset Rose. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with this one. I've worn it so many times here on my channel. You guys always ask me what is on my lips when I wear this one. Let me just go ahead and swatch them all. So here is the Sunset Rose. Here is Prima Donna, which is that baby pink I was telling you about. Aphrodisiac right underneath, which is a bit more peachy. And the one I'm wearing, which is Flesh Fantasy. It's just a bit more brown than Sunset Rose up here, which has a little bit more rose in it. So these glosses right here are my absolute favorite. And what's most special about them, besides the fact that they have amazing shades, is definitely the formula. Moving on to my fifth most recommended Pat McGrath beauty product, the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. If you are someone who needs to wear waterproof mascara in order for your mascara not to smudge, I wouldn't do this one because in very high humidity, there has been instances in which this mascara smudged on me a little bit, okay? However, for daily use, if I'm inside my house, if I'm not sweating, this mascara cannot be beat. The Dark Star Mascara gives me the longest, thickest lashes any mascara has ever given me. And my favorite thing about it is that it doesn't clump them together, it actually separates them. This mascara has been my number one favorite mascara ever since I tried it. And this is crazy, but I like it so much that I prefer to use a dry tube of my Dark Star Mascara over using brand new mascaras that I have in my drawer. This is a mascara I always have on top of my desk. I'm making my list of things I need to purchase as I record this video. I definitely need to get myself at least a couple of these so that I can have it because I'm totally neglecting the rest of my mascaras anyways, so I might as well have a fresh tube, right? <laughs> So again, even when it's dry, I prefer it to my other mascaras. When the tube is brand new, it is just pure magic, okay? I love, love, love this one. I'm definitely getting myself some more of it. And it is the mascara that I'm wearing today. And I know it looks good, but it could look even better. My tube is super duper dry. I've now shared five out of my top 10 products that I'm recommending in this video. And the rest of the products are eyeshadow palettes. I have videos ranking my Pat McGrath palette collection. I have different ones of them. I have a video where I ranked every single one of my eyeshadow quads. Highly recommend that you watch it. It'll be linked down in the description box of this video. And I also have a video where I ranked my Mothership palettes from worst to best. If you're interested in purchasing Mothership palettes specifically, that might be a very good video to go watch. But I am going to talk about my top five must-have Pat McGrath palettes in this video. Starting with the Pat McGrath quad, my top favorite Pat McGrath quad. This is the Venus and Fleur Luxe quad in Voyeuristic Vixen. This is, and I always have to say this when I talk about this palette, the palette that made me cry. <laughs> this palette has one of my favorite matte burgundy shades. Out of every shade like this in my collection, I just love this color with a passion and it has one of the most intense dual chrome shades ever which is this one up here you can totally see the shift in this one even right now take a look at the color in the pan it looks like a rose shade and then take a look at the color in the mirror it looks like a gold shade so that color has the most amazing shift to it this palette has a perfect color story and even though it's only four shades, you can do so much with it. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it so that you can see how absolutely stunning and creamy and pigmented every single one of these shades are. This is definitely a must-have palette for me. It is my favorite Pat McGrath quad that I own. The shift in this particular shade gets me every time. It makes me want to cry all over again every time I see it because it is just such a beautiful, beautiful color. I love this quad with a passion. If you're interested in these types of colors, this right here is the palette to have, hands down. It'll 
be better than all others that you have with a maybe similar color story, I can promise you that. And I have a couple of videos on this palette that you can totally watch if you're interested in some looks. I have the original review video, the video in which I cried. <laughs> and then I also have a three looks one palette that I created for this one because I'm just obsessed with it, so it needed it. <laughs> the other Pat McGrath quad that made it to my top 10 recommendations is this one right here. This is the Pat McGrath Blitz Astro Quad in Ritualistic Rose. This quad is part of her first collection of quads she ever launched a few years back and it is still one of my all-time favorite quads she's ever released. Every single shade in this quad is an Astro Blitz shade which is Pat McGrath's most fancy, most luxurious, best shimmer formula ever. And so that in itself definitely makes this quad very special. There is no matte shades in this quad, however, you can still create beautiful looks using exclusively the shades that come in here. I've definitely done it. I have videos where I've created looks with this palette and every time I just love the way things look. It makes things very beautiful and cozy and ethereal. These shades are absolutely incredible. Let me go ahead and swatch them once again here for you. You can see how beautiful and creamy and pigmented they are once again. My favorite color, definitely this one right here, this very light ethereal shimmery rose is amazing. And the reason you don't necessarily need a matte to make this quad work for you, obviously if you want to combine it with another palette then please do it, but this bronzy shimmer shade here when blended out becomes almost like a satin shade so you can totally use it as your matte per se in your crease and combine it with the rest of these shades and it looks amazing. Let's move on to must-have product number eight, and like I said before, it is also an eyeshadow palette. This time it is one of her full-size Mothership palettes, no other than Mothership number one. I love this one so much. This is mostly what I'm wearing on my eyes today, believe it or not, and the reason that I love this palette so much is because I can create eye looks like the one I'm wearing today, and I love when I make my eyes look like this. <laughs> so here's what the inside of Mothership number one looks like, and I feel like at first glance you might maybe think that it's not that special of a palette, and I'm here to tell you, you're wrong. <laughs> This palette has some absolutely spectacular, very special indeed shades. Um, I'm obsessed with this one for example, and I'm going to start with the more boring but very special still ones. This shade right here is the most perfect taupey cool tone transition color you could ever have in your collection. It is a fantastic creamy taupey shade it blends out with such ease and it'll look amazing as a transition with a lot of other darker matte shades you might put on top this cool tone brown right here also a very lovely very smoky sultry pigmented blendable shade i love it obviously it is a divine combination for the taupey one but i did not use this one in my eye look today um, I used something else because I wanted to combine this taupey shade with a different color. And then I'll give you three more reasons to buy this palette, these three shades down here. This shade, this blue shimmer shade that you're seeing on my eyelid is this one. And oh, you can kind of see it there. It has a perfect shift of pink and blue, which is very beautiful and also very ethereal looking. You can totally see the shift off this shade on my finger and then here it is once you swatch it i'm totally obsessed with that shimmer color right there and i also really really love these two with this blue you can create the most stunning sapphire blue smoky eye ever it has shine it has pigmentation, blendability, everything you need. And then this shade right here is the most perfect, most beautiful ethereal shade ever for my inner corner. It's like a pearly white with a blue shift in it and it is simply amazing. I don't know if my passion for this palette is coming through on camera, 
but I'm obsessed, okay? I'm in love. Pat McGrath Mothership number one is definitely a must-have in your Pat McGrath collection. So from this palette, I'm wearing the taupey shade today. I'm also wearing this blue-pink duochrome shifty shade right in the center of my eyelid. And then I'm wearing this pearly white blue shift shimmer right here on my inner corners and I just love the way it looks. Mothership number one made me a believer in blue eyeshadows because I always hated them before I tried it. <laughs> and by the way, yes, of course, I do have a five looks one palette with it. So if you're interested in this one, you can check out the five looks one palette for inspiration. One of my favorite ones I've ever done. Another mothership palette that I feel is definitely a must have. It's one of the girliest mothership palettes Pat McGrath has ever launched and that is mothership number seven. This one is called Divine Rose and I love it. Mine is not black because I have the limited edition baby pink shade but take a look right here at the inside of this one i'm wearing this shade and this shade from this palette today i added this one on my crease a bit and then the color i have on the outer corner of my eye today is this warmer brown right here and these two shades are definitely really good reasons to get this palette because they are amazing very blendable very pigmented mattes that combine so well with a lot of the shimmers that this palette has in it. I do also have a five looks one palette with this one and the five looks one palette I made with this palette is one of the main reasons I always recommend it because I'm obsessed with the looks that I created with it and so when I look at that thumbnail picture every time I'm like this is definitely a must have palette. You can create very beautiful and wearable extremely elegant and whimsical looks with this one and it's because it has the perfect two matte shades and these four astro blitz shades right here which make this palette extremely extremely beautiful so let me go ahead and show you the swatches of these so you can check it out this one here does not look like much but it is the most beautiful ethereal color ever you can put this in the center of the eye and it's like a white with the most stunning pink shift to it i love this shade even though it doesn't really look like much when you swatch it here's the look i created with it that sells it to me i love that look so much and i did it using this shade right in the center of the eye i love it also this right here is one of my most favorite astral blitz shades ever because it has the most special shine to it and it matches anything really so yes divine rose is also definitely a must-have mothership palette in my opinion and then the 10th must-have pat mcgrath product is this one right here also a mothership palette this is mothership number nine which came out was it a year ago already i think so this is called utopian dream and in this palette pat mcgrath introduced a new formula of astro blitz shades that i am obsessed with and they have very beautiful shades so i had to include it in this palette these right here are the shiniest astro blitz shades she's ever done although mothership number 10 also has um, a couple of shades that are this formula and i love it as well but i had to pick a top 10 so this right here is what i picked um, before I change my mind, let me keep going. <laughs> so here are my top four favorite shades from Mothership number 10. I'm going to start with the mattes as I have. These two right here are incredible. I love this shade in the crease of my eye. And this is a shade that you can put on the crease as a transition or you can darken up quite a bit to give you a bit more of a punch if you want a lighter look with this palette. Um, and then the two super spectacular Astro Blitz shade. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at that right there. I could also cry with these two. This one in particular is fantastic. And I am wearing that shade right here on the inner part of my lid today. I wanted to kind of use something from all of the different palettes I was going to talk about. And so this is what I came up with. Anyways, these shades right here are absolutely spectacular. 
And I feel like they are definitely must-have colors from Pat McGrath. I love them. This palette doesn't even stop just there. We have a multi-chrome shade. We have this beautiful rose shimmer that I love. And another matte that is much more orangey and a little bit different for Pat McGrath. These three shades right here I also absolutely love. Take a look how creamy and pigmented these are. I'm obsessed with Mothership number no. 9. It definitely became one of my all-time favorite Pat McGrath palettes pretty quickly because it has some really special shades in it. And so I also really love it and I highly recommend it. I definitely feel that now that we have 10 Mothership palettes, I need to do an updated rankings. But anyways, these 10 products that I just showed you are definitely my top 10 Pat McGrath must have products that if you love the line you definitely need to add to your collection. I do have three more products I'm going to talk about but these are like nice to haves, they're not must haves. <laughs> First of all the Celestial Nirvana palette from Pat McGrath. This is this year's holiday palette which is now part of the Pat McGrath sale. I was so tempted to include this one in the top 10 must haves but I didn't because I think that the palettes that have the Astro Blitz shades are definitely more of a must-have palette to me than this one is. However, even though this palette doesn't have Astro Blitz shades, it does have some fantastic formulas in there. And something else that I think is absolutely fantastic about it is that this is the most colorful Pat McGrath palette she's ever released. And we have some really stunning colorful matte shades in here that we can use for so many different looks and in combination with the Mothership palettes. It's endless possibilities. This is my favorite holiday palette she's ever released. I did a five looks one palette with this one. I also did a video reviewing it. So um, you can definitely get a lot of inspiration with this palette here on my channel and I absolutely love it. Besides that, Pat McGrath has one of my favorite lip liner formulas. Something else I need to add to my card is the lip liner in the shade Structure. I don't think I've ever used a lip liner as much as I have used this one and this is the lip liner that I'm wearing today. I absolutely love it. Mine is not only very freaking wasted but also pretty broken as well. I have been sharpening this by just like putting it back in the pencil and I've just kept on sharpening it like that for a while now. So. I need a new one. I love the shade structure from her lip liners, but definitely don't just stop at this color. She has an incredible lip liner formula and she has a ton of shades in it. Another one of my favorites for a very nude baby pink type of a look is the shade Dawn on Dawn. When I want a true light nude lip combo, that is one of my go-to lip liners, Dawn on Dawn from Pat McGrath. And Structure is my favorite filming this video, is putting me in the mood to buy some more Pat McGrath products. So we might have a haul coming soon because I think I definitely want to try quite a few more of her lip liners as well. Last product I wanted to mention that Pat McGrath does very, very well is the highlighters. Now my favorite highlighter from Pat McGrath I've ever tried is this one right here, which I'm not sure if it's still available on her website. I really hope it is. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter in Incandescent Gold 002. It is part of the Bridgerton collection and it is the highlighter that I'm wearing today. It has such a special color to it. It's not quite a champagne color. It's like champagne to silver, but it's very, very flattering on the skin. It is a fantastic, fantastic highlighter color. And Pat McGrath's highlighters have an incredible formula. This is one of my most favorite I've ever tried. And then you can also go for the one that came out in the holiday collection this year or the blush from the holiday collection. I am super excited for this sale. I definitely will be doing some damage myself. And if you want to get some Pat McGrath products for yourself or to give to someone you really love, this is definitely the time because like I said, she's never done it 40% off before. It is unheard of and very, very exciting to get such an amazing discount on the best beauty products on the market. 
in my humble opinion. If you guys like this top 10 must-haves from Pat McGrath video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. If you're new to my channel, my name is Patty. I am a little Pat McGrath obsessed, but I also love a lot of other makeup brands. So please give me a follow before you leave. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.